Belpre and Federal Hawking beat the winter weather to start tonight's TVC Hawking matchup on time. But once they got in the gym, they had to do something much more difficult. They had to beat each other. Tonight, either the Golden Eagles or the Lancers will get into the win column for the first time this season. The weather wasn't the only thing the two teams had to overcome. A scoreboard malfunction took 12 minutes, and both teams proved while there is no I in team, there's also no I in seniors either. A 6-0 run to end the first half gave Belper a six-point lead going into the break, and the Eagles increased their lead throughout the middle of the third quarter, got it as big as 12 before Federal Hawking started chipping away. The Lancers closed the third on a 7-2 run to get within seven at 46-39, and trailed by only three with 125 left in the fourth, when Belpre's Trent Gaynor scored four in a row, the last two with under a minute to go to put the game out of reach for the Lancers. Belpre won this one 58-50 behind 17 points from Rashawn Miller and 15 from Ryan Leisure, who went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Lancers' seven-foot center Chris Saylor. Saylor scored four points very early on in the first quarter, but only two the rest of the way. Saylor finished with six points to go along with his 10 rebounds, and Ryan Rex's 13 points on five of 16 shooting paced the Lancers, which have lost their first three games of the season. I felt like we got away from Chris Saylor tonight. It's just something we got to, you know, improve on. It just, just takes a little bit of time, but we'll get it together. Belper got the W tonight to move out of the TVC Hawking Cellar and moves overall to one in four. Make sure you continue to follow Hardwood Heroes all the way through December into January and make sure you tune in. The debut of Hardwood Heroes on television, January 16th, 2011, that's a Sunday at 6.30 on WOUB2, which is channel 25 Time Warner Cable and Nelsonville TV Cable, channel 15 Public Access. For Hardwood Heroes, I'm Grant Burkhart.